Science Olympiad Class 8 Synthetic Fibers and Plastics Fiber and Plastic Fiber Clothes are made from thread which is obtained from natural or artificial fibers. The common material are cotton, silk, wool, nylon and other synthetic artificial fibers. First, the fibers are made, that is spun into the threads and later they are woven into cloth with help of looms or weaving machines. Cotton is obtained from the cotton plant. Linen is obtained from the flax plant. Silk is obtained from the cocoons that the silkworms are commonly found on mulberry trees. Wool is obtained from the fur of animals like sheep, camels and goats. The woolen fibers are spun into woolen cloth. Scientists have developed many kinds of artificial fibers like rayon, nylon, decron and terylene. These are called synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are stronger than natural fibers. So, nylon, decron and terylene clothes are more durable than cotton clothes. They dry very quickly and also do not get wrinkled. But, synthetic cloth is non-porous and therefore should not be worn during summer season because neither does it absorb the sweat nor does it allow the body heat to escape. Types of Animal Fibers Wool It is the hair from the skin of some animals like sheep, goat and camel which are twisted to make long strands. Wool is light, soft, thick and wrinkle resistant. It is made up of keratin which contains sulphur in it. Types of Wool Sheep Wool World's finest wool comes from the fleas of merino sheep. Fleas is a thick coat of hair on the body. Wool is collected from the sheep by cutting with clippers. This process is called shearing. Goat wool. Angora, Pashmina, Kashmir are the most important breeds of goat as well as variety of wool. Camel wool. Camels grow very thick coat of hair which they shed during summer. Processing of wool. The raw wool is dirty and greasy. It also contains a lot of sweat. The sheared wool is cleaned by washing with detergents. After washing, the wool is treated with acid and heated to remove impurities. The fibers are then smeared with oil to make them soft. Long fibers are straightened and short ones are separated. The fibers thus obtained are washed, twisted and spun into yarn. The yarn is then used as knitting materials for sweaters, cardigans, etc. This yarn is also used for weaving woolen clothes. Breeding of sheep. Improvement in the sheep variety is achieved by crossbreeding between local sheep and high yielding exotic breeds of sheep. Silk. It comes from the cocoon of the silkworm. Silkworms feed on mulberry leaves. Silk is lustrous, soft, strong, hard, wearing and is produced in long continuous strands. It is made up of keratin but does not contain sulphur in it. Because of the lustrous appearance and other desirable properties in silk, man started cultivating and breeding silkworms on a large scale. This art of rearing silkworm on a commercial scale is known as sericulture. Method used in silk farming. Eggs of silkworm are collected and hatched in an incubator. They hatch into black worms called larvae or caterpillars. The larvae are fed on mulberry leaves for four to five weeks. During feeding, each larvae sheds its skin four times. The process of shedding skin is called molting. Larvae eat voraciously and grow fast. One day they stop eating, climb, twigs and start spinning the cocoons. This stage is called the pupa stage. The cocoons are treated with steam so that the pupae are killed. Silk threads are collected formed by the cocoon by a process called reeling which is done by hand. 
If the cocoons are left by themselves and not steamed, the pupae will develop into moths. When the moth comes out from the cocoon, the thread gets damaged. The life cycle of silkworm is shown in the figure. The silk thread is used for weaving clothes. It can be dyed into various colors. The quality and type of silk depends on the difference in the processing and the variety of silkworms. Fur. It is the soft growth of fibers covering animals like foxes, rabbits, cats, leopards, etc. Keeping and breeding of animals for fur is called fur farming. There are about 80 varieties of furs. Sources of fur include animals like beaver, ermine, fox, mink, otter, rabbit, sable, seal, cat and dog. Most important sources of fur are the animals found in cold regions where low temperature ensures growth of thick fur. Natural fiber and synthetic fiber. Take a small piece, each of two fibers and burn them. Observe closely as to how these two different fibers burn. You will notice that natural fibers burn with a flame. Synthetic fiber will melt fast and then burn. Plant and animal fiber. Burn a piece of sewing thread, plant, and a piece of wool, animal. Observe and smell the smoke which is produced on burning. The smoke from the sewing thread will give you the smell like that of burning paper because it is made up of cellulose. The smoke from the wool piece will smell like that of burning eggs or pulses because it is made up of proteins. Advantages and disadvantages of natural fibers. Advantages. These have the property of retaining our body's heat. Disadvantage. They do not retain their creases for long. Cotton clothes allow sweat to pass through them in hot and humid weather from our body. They may shrink on ordinary washing. The cotton fabrics are comfortable for summer. They are attacked by moths and moles. Natural silk is very expensive and they do not dry rapidly. Advantages and disadvantages of synthetic fibers. Advantages. They are strong. They are crease resistant. They are not attacked by moths and moles. They are easy to wash and maintain. They dry up more quickly. They come in very attractive colors and prints. The disadvantages. They do not allow air to pass through them and hence are not good for summer. They do not absorb sweat as well as natural fibers do. They get damaged by high temperature when ironed. They catch fire more easily than cotton or wool. Plastics. Plastics is also a polymer like a synthetic fiber. All plastics do not have the same type of arrangement of units. In some, it is linear, whereas in other, it is cross-linked. Plastic articles are available in all possible shapes and sizes. When we add hot water to a plastic bottle, it gets deformed. Such plastic, which gets deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily, are known as thermoplastic. Polythene and PVC are some of the examples of thermoplastics. These are used for manufacturing toys, combs and various types of containers. Thermoset plastics. There are some plastics which when molded ones cannot be softened by heating. These are called thermosetting plastics. Two examples are bakelite and melamine. Bakelite is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. It is used for making electrical switches handles of various utensils, etc. Melamine is a versatile material. It resists fire and can tolerate heat better than other plastics. It is used for making flow tiles, kitchenware and fabrics which resist fire. Figure shows the various uses of thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Materials of choice. Today, if we think of storing a food item, save water, milk, pickles, dry food, etc., plastic containers seem most convenient. This is because of their lightweight, lower price, 
good strength and easy handling. Being lighter as compared to metals, plastics are used in cars, aircrafts and spacecrafts too. The list is endless. If we start counting articles like slippers, furniture, decoration pieces, etc. Plastic is non-reactive. You know that metals like iron get rusted when left exposed to moisture and air. But plastics do not react with water and air. They are not corroded easily. That is why they are used to store various kinds of material including many chemicals. Uses of Plastics Plastic finds extensive use in the healthcare industry. Some examples of their use are the packages of tablets, threads used for stitching wounds, syringes, doctor's gloves and a number of medical instruments. Special plastic cookware is used in microwave ovens for cooking food. In microwave ovens, the heat cooks the food but does not affect the plastic vessel. Teflon is a special plastic on which oil and water do not stick. It is used for non-stick coating on cookwares. Fireproof plastics. Although synthetic fiber catches fire easily, it is interesting to know that the uniforms of firemen have coating of melamine plastic to make them flame resistant. Plastic and the environment, a material which gets decomposed through natural processes such as action by bacteria is called biodegradable. A material which is not easily decomposed by natural processes is termed non-biodegradable. Have you ever seen a garbage dump where animals, especially cows, are eating garbage? In the process of eating the food waste, they swallow materials like polythene bags and wrappers of food. Can you imagine the consequences? The plastic material chokes the respiratory system of these animals or forms a lining in their stomachs and can be the cause of their death. The polybags carelessly thrown here and there are responsible for clogging the drains too. Sometimes we are very careless and throw the wrappers of chips, biscuits and other eatables on the road or in parks or picnic places. Biodegradable chart. Biodegradable chart is given above. Plastic and the environment. Avoid the use of plastics as far as possible. Make use of bags made of cotton or jute when you go for shopping. The biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes should be collected separately and disposed of separately. As a responsible citizen, remember the 4R principle. Reduce, reuse, recycle and recover.